Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love Starter. In this video, you'll learn how to connect multiple data sources to your Google Data Studio report. You can connect multiple data sources when you want to create a dashboard or report that includes multiple elements. For example, if you wanted to create a social media dashboard, then you might want to include data from Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter in a single snapshot. Or maybe you want to combine multiple Google Analytics accounts to create a roll-up report. Or you want to merge data. You can do this by connecting multiple data sources. Let's take a look. OK, so let's start by creating a new report. I'm going to use the Google Analytics demo account as my first data source. And let's connect the data source. Now we're going to keep things simple for this report, so let's change the default chart to a scorecard. And change the metric to users. This scorecard now shows us the total number of users on the website. Now if we wanted to also include data from, say, our YouTube channel in the same dashboard, then we'll need to add another data source. To do this, we can either select Resource, and then Manage Added Data Sources, and travel through the steps, or we can simply select the Add Data option. Now we can click Add, and select Add to Report. We can now use this new data source in our dashboard. To do this, we need to add a chart. I'm going to add another scorecard to my dashboard. Selecting the data source for the chart lets me change between the different data sources I have connected. We can see for this report, I have now connected Google Analytics and YouTube. Let's change the metric for the scorecard to show the total number of views. We now have a dashboard that includes data from two data sources. I know I'm keeping things simple today, but remember you can now make use of all of the different charting options. Now I want to show you how to merge data using a blended data source. You can use this if you have information in two different data sources that you want to combine. For example, if you had separate Google Analytics reporting views and you wanted to combine data to create a roll-up report. To make a blended data source, you'll need to start by ensuring you have a key that is available in both sources. This basically needs to be a piece of information that is available in both sets of data. For example, we might use date to combine data. Let's start by adding another data source to our report. I'm going to add another one of the Google Analytics reporting views from Google's demo account. You'll want to use your own accounts, but I'm going to use the demo account today. I also want to highlight that the two Google Analytics views I have added contain data that is almost identical, so when we merge the data in our report, we'll simply be doubling the metrics we see. OK, so now let's add a time series to our report. We'll use this time series to show the first data source. And let's change the metric to Users. Now let's copy this time series. And change the data source to the second data source. Now we can select both charts. Then right click and select Blend Data. This is the quickest way to combine data from multiple sources. For more control, you can use the Manage Blended Data option under Resource. 
OK, now this chart looks identical to the others. This is because we now have two separate metrics for users. We can see this in the right column. This means we'll need to create our own metric to combine both of the user metrics. Before we do this, I recommend renaming the metrics so that you know you're combining them correctly. To do this, click the Edit icon for the Blender data source. And then edit the names of the metrics. Then click Save. And head back to the report. Now we need to select Add Metric. And then Create Field. Let's start by naming our new metric Combined Users. We can now enter our formula. I'm going to enter Sum, opening bracket, and then I'm going to add the two metrics together. Now we can save our new metric. Now we can remove the other metrics from the chart. And we can see that the chart now includes a combined total of users by day. That's it. So that's how you can connect multiple data sources to use in your Google Data Studio reports and dashboards. Although you might not need to connect multiple data sources for all of the reports you create, it's a great way to combine data from multiple platforms in a single snapshot. And remember you can even use the Blender Data option to join data from different sources if you have a key that is available in both sources. Are you going to connect multiple data sources to a single report? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe, share it with your friends and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.